Reports are stating that Spurs have their third summer signing. Jed Spence for £20 million from Middlesbrough. And Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have just confirmed the departure of Cameron Carter-Vickers as he has just completed a permanent move to Celtic. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, OneFootball, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Let's start with a report from the Guardian newspaper. They are stating that Tottenham have agreed a deal to buy Jed Spence from Middlesbrough with the fee understood to be around £20 million. The England under-21s right back last month finished a season-long loan at Nottingham Forest where he played a significant part in their promotion to the Premier League. Jed Spence, who was born in London and was in Fulham's academy, is one of the country's most highly regarded young defenders and was on Thursday named in the PFA Championship Team of the Season. Nottingham Forest had considered keeping the 21-year-old, but he has chosen Tottenham. Um, Emerson Royale was the preferred Spurs option in uh, Spence's position in the 2021-2022 season, although Matt Doherty and Javit Tanganga also were used there. Tottenham's targeting of Spence fits their general policy of signing young talent with potential sell-on value. They abandoned uh, that this month to bring in the 33-year-old Ivan Perisic, who is leaving Inter Milan at the end of his contract. It then states that Jed Spence has held down a regular championship place since December 2019, first with Middlesbrough and then Nottingham Forest. He made his England under-21s debut in March. And also a report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur have agreed a deal to sign at Middlesbrough defender Jed Spence this summer. Antonio Conte is closing in on his third signing of the transfer window after Jed Spence snubbed a return to Nottingham Forest despite helping them gain promotion to the Premier League. Now, an official statement has just been released by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club regarding defender Cameron Carter-Vickers. It states, we have reached an agreement with Celtic for the permanent transfer of Cameron Carter-Vickers, a product of our academy. Cameron spent the 2021-2022 season on loan with the Glasgow side and made 45 appearances, helping them to claim both the Scottish Premiership title and the Scottish League Cup. Joining us at the age of 11 before progressing through our ranks, the Southend-born defender made five appearances in total for our first team, with the most recent coming in August 2021 as we face Pacos de Ferreira in the first leg of our UEFA Europa Conference League qualifying round. Uh, we wish Cameron Carter-Vickers all of the very best for the future. Now, how many times have I said on the Spurs Chat podcast, who should be taking the Tottenham Hotspur free kicks? Why is Hunmin Son not taking the Spurs free kicks? He has just scored another free kick for his country, South Korea, as his country drew 2-2 with Paraguay this afternoon. A report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Tottenham are expected to make another approach for third Juventus ace after January meeting. Spurs are looking to continue their productive start to the transfer window. It then goes on to say that Tottenham are expected to move for Weston McKennie once again as Fabio Prachi eyes his third deal with former club Juventus, according to reports in Italy. The Italian, who is operating as Tottenham's managing director of football, has maintained contact with his former employers, which laid the foundations for a double January swoop for Dijan Kulishevsky and Rodrigo Bentenko. Now Tottenham are continuing to turn the dial in their pursuit of summer recruits, having already wrapped up two free signings in the form of Ivan Perisic and Fraser Forster. Now, on Saturday afternoon, England will be hosting Italy at Molyneux in the Nations League. The game will be played behind closed doors. And in Gareth Southgate's press conference ahead of this game, he has said it's an embarrassment for the country.
This game's obviously behind closed doors. I know there's going to be up to 3,000 youngsters there <laughs> the FA have invited free of charge. But I need to ask you about the reason this is behind closed doors. Is it embarrassing for English football that the team have to run out into a virtually an empty stadium because of the way some people behaved during the final? Well, if it's an embarrassment, it's for England as a country, really, because a lot of the people that could... You know, I, I'm not certain we're football fans, so... Um, but I think we've spoken enough about it. We, we, we spoke about it after the final. We've spoken about it when the punishment was first given. Um, what I must say is that, you know, the vast majority of our fans that travel to Germany behave themselves brilliantly and uh, I think enjoyed the game, enjoyed the performance. Um, so, you know, big thank you to them because I think um, maybe people were expecting something different. And, uh, you know, it seems that there was a, a huge majority that were a great credit. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Let's start with the Jed Spence one. Reports are stating that this deal is now done. £20 million. Pounds. I'll tell you what, if Spurs get this deal over the line for £20 million, pounds, what a signing and what an absolute bargain. He is a real quality right back. I'm sure Antonio Conte will get the best out of him and he will be a very, very good player at Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. And I'll tell you what, the transfer uh, window in the UK officially opened today and we are set to announce our third signing of the window so far. I'm so impressed of uh, what Tottenham Hotspur are doing right now, getting players in early, and not only are we getting them in early, we are signing real quality uh, to come into the starting eleven. And wishing Cameron Carter-Vickers all of the very best, um, having just signed for Celtic. Of course, he's had an exceptional season in Glasgow, winning a couple of trophies for them, and I think it's very fair to say that um, he wasn't in Antonio Conte's plans. He wasn't ever going to feature in the first team. So I think that this is a fantastic move for him. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.